it might not be today and it might not be tomorrow next week five years it might be freaking 100 years from this point and I know there's a lot of sensitive ears out there but I think a lot of people need to hear this uh, you and I and all of us are going to die and I don't mean that in the cliche way of like oh someday it's gonna come I mean like we're gonna pass soon like it, it's going to it might happen soon I don't know a single person that's really ever gotten to death or really gotten to that stage and said well yep it's definitely time and you know it, it, this is this is it I can't imagine it took this long everybody says that it's it's too soon everybody says that oh they were too young this shouldn't have happened so if there's any fear if there's any excuses holding you back from doing something just freaking do it before you pass away so many people have been taken and this is one of my greatest motivations it sounds dark and it sounds negative but it's really not that negative it's an enlightening fact if you already know the worst case scenario if you already know the end of the story why are you possibly waiting on doing the things that are scaring you Fear just means false expectations appearing real. All of the best things in life are right on the other side of fear. That's what Will Smith says. That's what most successful people say is once they take the leap, pretty much everything falls into the way the way that it should. So while while you guys are going into the weekend and you know, just take it action. Just take the steps that you guys need. We have people that are getting sick all the time. I have a, a couple of people in my life right now that I'm dealing with uh, trying to stick by their side as they go through a tough time. Uh, one, I love like family and one, I love because they are my family. So uh, like I said, as we go into the weekend, we are going to die sometime. Don't make it negative or sensitive. Use it to empower you and freaking fuel you. And before I leave this video today, I just want to say, fuck cancer. Peace.